Hey guys, welcome to another video and this is a video that you guys have been requesting for a very very long time. Now I know that there are a lot of reviews for different ROMs that are pending and there is a small announcement that I have to make. Now earlier I had planned that I'll be making two review videos. First one will be an initial 24 hour review and then there'll be a full review. But what I've noticed is there are, there are a lot of ROMs for this device and it's getting a little hectic for me. So what I'm going to do is there'll be two videos instead of three. I'll be doing an install and preview of every ROM and then I'll be doing a full review you which would make things much more easier for you as well as for me but today's video is different now as you know since the last 10 or 15 days from the time I switched to the Zenfone Pro M1 I've been flashing a lot of ROMs and a lot of you have been asking me how do I revert back to stock and relock the bootloader so there you have it today's video is just about that this process will allow you to go ahead and flash back to complete stock receive over the air updates and be in warranty as well. Now there are two things that you need to take care of. 6 GB variants, this should work for that, but I'm not really sure. A lot of people on XDA have mentioned that it is working fine for them. So try this at your own risk. At the same time, if you've unlocked your phone officially, it should work as well. But once again, not tested by me because I unlocked unofficially and I'm relocking the bootloader so that I can get OT updates. This is basically a step which should help you to get back to complete stock. So there are a few files that will be needed. I will show you that in the video. You will need a Windows computer, a good internet connection. The files that I mentioned in the description, you need to download them and follow the video step by step. But before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390, a new bike is coming on there. So stay tuned on that channel as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright guys, so welcome to this video. Now before we move on to the PC and I show you things that are needed, we need to first look at the phone and let me show you what exactly needs to be done. Now the bootloader on this device, although it is on a stock ROM, is unlocked. So first things first, what we need to do is of course, you need to ensure that you have at least 50% battery and you've backed up all the information because all the data on this device will be lost. So make sure you do that. You will of course need a Windows PC, Windows 10 recommended because that doesn't have many issues with drivers and a USB cable, a Zenfone Pro M1 of course with at least 50% battery. Now I'm doing it at 17% because I'm comfortable doing it but if you're doing it, do it at your own risk. All right, and 6GB users, give it a try and let me know in the comment section, does it work? And people who have unlocked the bootloader officially, you can try to relock using this method and also let me know in the comment section, does it work or not so that I can help others as well. So first things first, you need to go to settings then system and go to about phone, scroll all the way to the bottom and tap build number seven times. All right, now once that is done, you need to go to developer options and enable USB debugging and hit OK. Now, once USB debugging is enabled, you're good to go as far as the phone is concerned. But to be on a safer side, we will just prepare the phone completely and then move on to the computer so that things are easier that way, all right? So what we need to do is press and hold the power button, power it off, wait for the phone to shut down. There you go. Now, once the phone has powered off, you need to press and hold power and volume up so that you enter fast boot mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Power plus volume up at the same time. All right. Now you would notice that the phone is in fast boot mode. All right. So let's connect the phone to the computer using a USB cable. There we go. So now the phone is connected in fast boot mode to the computer. All right, so once you're to your computer and ensure that phone is connected in fast boot to your PC, first of all, let's go to the start menu and type in device manager. So we need to open device manager. Now this is to ensure that the drivers are installed and it is detected in fast boot mode. So as you can see, Asus Android bootloader interface. Now the drivers are installed. In case the drivers aren't installed, I will link the drivers in the description so you can download it and install the drivers before you proceed to the next step. Now all set, what we need to do here is we will need two files. So first download these two files, that is minimal ADB and fast boot and the stock firmware. Now once these files are downloaded, just double click on minimal ADB and fast boot, hit yes. 
next, next, and we will select a different path. We will go to the root of C drive. There we have it. And instead of naming it minimal ADB and fast boot, let's go ahead and name it stock because we don't need any spaces in between. So once we've selected the name, just hit OK. C stock, no subfolders, nothing. Just go next, next, next and install. Do not launch it now, finish. Now, next up, double click on this file. You will need WinRAR to e extract this particular file. Double click on it again. And over here, select all these files except the very top one. That is not a file. Now, once you've selected all these, click on Extract to, and then go to your C drive and select the stock folder and hit OK. If you get a prompt like this, just say yes to all. Now wait for the extraction to complete depending on the performance of your computer. It should take maybe one or two minutes, not more than that. And then we will proceed to the next step. Now, before we proceed to the next step, I would like to warn you guys again that make sure you backed up all your data so that you don't lose any information and make sure you do this at your own risk because this is not the most official way of relocking the bootloader, but it sure works. So let's wait for the extraction to complete. All right, now as you can see, the extraction is complete. So let's close everything else that we don't need and let's go to C drive and to the stock folder. Now remember, while we were doing this, the phone was always connected to the computer in fast boot mode and the drivers were installed, so it is detected properly. Now all we need to do is, you see this file over here, flash all AFT, double click on it. And as you can see, the flashing process will begin. Now, depending on a lot of factors, the flashing process should not take more than 10 minutes. I have a decent computer, so it takes around five to seven minutes for the complete flash to happen. And uh, let me also show you the phone. As you can see over here, you won't see any activity, but don't touch the phone. Don't remove it. Don't press any buttons. Just let it do its thing. And once the flash is complete, this phone here will automatically reboot. All right, now as you can see, the flash is complete so that window disappeared on the PC and the phone is rebooting. Now what you will notice is it has flashed the stock recovery and it will show you an erasing screen. That means it is erasing everything. And usually when you have an unlocked bootloader, it does display that prompt at startup that the data might not be secure and all but as you can see right now you don't have any warnings or anything of that sort so last thing you know to end this video let's wait for the phone to completely boot up and i will show you that you know we have a ot update notification as well because even if you were on a latest firmware while you were unlocked well, this would have taken you to a very, very old firmware, maybe which is one or two months old, and you will get a notification that OT updates are available. You will also see this screen which says encrypting because of course, a stock ROM with a locked bootloader always has encrypted data and stuff like that. So that's completely normal. Now, the first boot will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so the phone has booted up and we are on the setup menu. We will just skip through the setup menu. All right, now, as you can see on the screen, we have completed the setup and we are on a complete stock ROM and you can see that we have a new system update available. That means we are back to complete stock. The bootloader has been locked and your warranty as well is intact and you can download updates and install them as well. So this was a quick video guys showing you how to go ahead and relock the bootloader and revert to complete stock. In in case you have any issues with the 6 GB RAM variant or maybe if you've unlocked officially and you have any problems, let me know in the comment section. There is a thread at XDA developers which has this particular topic well discussed and there are a lot of scenarios that have been tried. I will throw in a link to the description of that as well. But for now, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Until the next one, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.